Hello, welcome to another video of my YouTube playlist, Angular Internationalization. In this playlist, I am discussing different ways to use NGX Translate to create multilingual application. The last couple of video, I discussed the basic of NGX Translate, how to install it in Angular application, and demonstrated the way to create multilingual application using NGX Translate and HTTP Leader. I also discussed how to add translation file manually and use TypeScript to store translation data. This video I will talk the way to add multilingual functionality in components of lazy loading feature module. Let's discuss what is lazy loading feature module and why it is important. Lazy loading feature module is a design pattern that loads ng modules on demand. By default, ng modules are eagerly loaded, which means that as soon as the application loads, so do all the ng modules, whether or, or not they are immediately loaded. Let's see our code base. So here is the customer home, and we can see only one module, that is app module. For real life large application with lots of routes, components and pipes, it will be nightmare if we use default behavior of ng modules, which will create initial bundle size larger and in turns increase load time of application. So I prefer to consider lazy loading feature module. Lazy loading helps keep initial bundle sizes smaller, which in turn helps decrease application load time. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will create lazy loading feature module for customer component. Before moving forward, let's see how the app looks like in browser. To run the application, type npm start and press enter. This is our demo app. It serves for two languages. One is English and another one is Bangla and if I, I click customers from menu the customer data of customer components will be loaded and if I change the language to Bangla I see the customer data has been translated to Bangla okay let's add a feature module for customer co component customer.module.ts so I'm going to copy these things paste here so we do not need this those things in this module we don't need the bootstrap as this is the feature module and so I need to import the common module and the declaration part the customer component fine and this module should have a routing module I'm getting customer routing yes. okay. So we have I need to fix the import things. And we don't need yes. introduce the component. The component is the customer component. Let's remove these codes. There is only one component available for this module right now. fix this input also 
and the router module and this should not be for this should be for sale because the, this is the feature module and I'm going to change the name of the module class name of the module uh, it should be customer routing module okay save it and I need to import this module in the customer module so, okay. okay I need to fix the NG module and I need to change the name of the module here I created the feature module for customer component and this module has a routing module the customer routing module okay open the app module TS so now we need to remove the customer component from the declaration area of the of this module because uh, this is the part of the feature module customer module so remove it you don't need the reference also Sorry. now all set for app module now go to the app routing module To use customer module as lazy loading feature module, I need to use load children instead of component. So here is the code. This is way. This is the way we can uh, use the lazy loading module in the route path. So let's fix the code. Here the path is the customer under the customer the uh, file name is customer.module customer.module and the name of the customer module is customer module we are all set to create lazy loading feature module for better understanding we could learn from this website this is the under angular.io here yeah, still error this is template parsing error because now customer component is not part of the app module it is part of the customer module and customer module doesn't have any knowledge about the translate pipe this is the reason we are getting this type of error so to fix this error I need to add translate module of ngx translate in the import order area of this customer component translate module this module is the under of ngx translate let's save it and see yeah the application is compiled successfully let's browse the app yeah, this is this behaving as earlier. So let's change the app, and we can see it is translated to Banga. Uh, this is the translation key of customer component, and this key is available in both ENTS and the BNTS and those typescript file uh, is being imported in the app component here for this type of implementation whether the customer module will be loaded or not translated content of this module will be loaded with the app module for real life larger application customer module will have number of components and the pipes and the content 
translated content of this of those continents uh, will be larger and this will decrease the performance for the concept of uh, lazy loading and the performance the customer module should have its own translated TypeScript file so I'm copying this file here so and and remove the translated key and data from those files and from this file I'll delete everything instead of the customer.title okay and now I need to import this translated file in the customer component the way I import it in to the app component so let's copy the way so here it is okay so to add this translation file we can follow the way we used in app component this is the way this is the import issue this is our custom translation service last video uh, I discussed uh, the way to create the translation service this service basically holds the all logic of NGX translate so let's save it and see how the app looks like yeah this is same as the previous Yeah, this is work exactly. So this is the way to add multilingual functionality in the lazy loading feature module. Uh, I will push this code into my GitHub account and share the repository in description. If you think you could browse my repository. Thanks.